think India, if you think spicy food, snake charmers, oh. dodging cows, the Taj Mahal, okay. and total chaos, okay. you're thinking about northern India. It's an adventure waiting to happen. I'm Ricky Marino, and I want to find out why India only accounts for 1% of world tourism. I made it to Delhi. I have no idea what I'm doing, and it's going to be very, very, very interesting. All right, let's do it. Say goodbye to your personal space while you're in Delhi. It's crowded, it's overwhelming, and definitely exhausting. One day here can feel like an entire week. The only way you'll have any fun is to just put down the Purell and join the party. Uh, I'm at one of the many train stations here in Delhi. I, uh, my biggest mistake so far on this trip has not been booking my train tickets in advance. It's made me lose time, it's made me lose money. It's been a huge problem, so book them far in advance because I've lost a whole day of travel. Instead of going straight to Agra to see the Taj Mahal, first I head west to hang with some locals in Rajasthan. Here the people are welcoming, the desert is sprawling, and the camels command the streets. And it turns out that the cows aren't the only things that Hindus hold sacred. I made it to Bikaner. I'm gonna go see the Karni Mata Rat Temple. Rat Temple. Over 20,000 rats call this Hindu temple home, and Indians come here to pay their respects, as these rats are believed to be the reincarnations of ancestors. Shoes aren't allowed inside, so plan ahead and bring two pairs of socks. And if you're brave enough, it's considered an honor to share a bowl of milk with the rats. Gross. I'm in Jaisalmer. That's a very popular stop on the Rajasthan route. This is famous for its really big fort, which I'm looking into right now. Uh, it's very laid back, a good place to relax for a couple days, and um, a lot of history to it. I mean, if you're into that sort of thing. This is the bang shop in, uh, in Jaisalmer. So I figured what better way to do a camel safari in the desert than having some bang lassi, courtesy of Dr. Bang himself. Namaste. Here we have the India Bang and it's a natural plant of marijuana. And we are the government shop because government want to stop a black market here. So they allowed a Bang shop. And we got a nice Bang cookie which is good for camel safari and the long journey. Because after cookies you are not a camel like flying carpet, like flying carpet. <laughs> Most travelers who come to Jaisalmer opt for the camel safari across the Thar Desert, leading you to a good spot to view the sun setting over the Pakistani border, which happens to be heavily armed, so always keep your cool. One day in Agra, and it's raining really hard. Completely foggy, I can't see anything. Just my luck, trying to see the Taj Mahal. Hello, just one. 750. Listen to the rhythm of the falling rain Telling me just what a fool I've been I wish that it would go Let me cry in vain And let me be alone again Oh, 
distance with the falling rain. Bitter father, bitter father, whoa, whoa, listen to the falling rain. Okay. 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 Thank you. So one thing I haven't had a chance to do yet is order street food. I have a samosa here. I haven't done it yet just because I'm worried about getting sick, but I have to try at least once, right? So it's a samosa here. You're not gonna get sick. No, you're not gonna get sick. It's delicious. The food is awesome. Completely blew me away. I don't know much about Indian food, and half the time I didn't even know what I was ordering, but with the intense spices and pungent flavors, every meal seemed to be better than the next, from high-end restaurants to local cafes. TripAdvisor and Lonely Planet usually hit the mark with their recommendations, and asking for whatever the chef recommends almost always rewarded me with a memorable meal. Get on a bus and head north, and you'll eventually reach Rishikesh, a city where you won't find meat on any menu, and is overrun by hippie backpackers, weird yoga people, and unruly monkeys. It's the gateway to the Himalayas. Solo un gran amor Imagina la gente Viviendo solo el hoy So most people come to Rishikesh <laughs> Most people come to Rishikesh for spiritual enlightenment or yoga The Beatles came here in the 60s Jeez. The Beatles came to Rishikesh in the 60s uh, for inspiration. I'm here just to feed the monkeys. Feed the monkeys. Feed the monkeys. Monkey monkeys. Hope they don't cry. I'm gonna feed the monkeys. Oh my god, whatever you do, don't feed the monkeys. Rabies is a very serious risk in India, and medical treatment to prevent it is very long and very painful. After experiencing my share of incredible extremes here in India, my journey brings me to Varanasi. Hindu's most holy city on the banks of its most holy river, the Ganges. Varanasi is a city that was built on and still thrives on traditions. Traditions that may seem strange and shocking at first, but spend enough time here and you'll come to appreciate the power of this place. For many people, Varanasi is their final resting place. Hindus believe that dying here will release you from the cycle of rebirth. For families that can afford it, elaborate cremation ceremonies are carried out in public view along the river, with their ashes being released into the water. For the vast majority, however, bodies are weighted with stones and sunk to the bottom. These traditions are in harmony with daily bathing rituals, and this water is said to remove sins and purify the soul. Okay. I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna jump in the Ganges.
India. Eh. Oh my god. Hold on, watch where you're going. There's a million roads and a million miles to see. Stuck in the moment. Right now, this moment is the perfect place to be. Where you go? 